Dear fans of Auto Fuel, welcome here again, your number one resource for in-depth car reviews. Today with a special on infotainment systems, I'm here with Kai Herget from Bosch because Bosch has developed the software solutions for the new Jaguar Land Rover multimedia system in terms of the connectivity with the smartphones. So let's look at this today. So could you please explain us how the system works actually and what it is capable of? Okay, welcome from my side. Um, what we uh, have here or what we um, contribute to this new nice and fancy car and in general to all Range Rovers and uh, Jaguars is a smartphone connectivity solution which is called In Control Apps um, by Jaguar Land Rover. And the use case is pretty simple. So once you start your car, you see the, the standard screen and if you find um, another screen on this, you see the, the, that um, icon here which, which says In Control Apps. And basically what it, the name is already what, what, is, what it is doing. So it, it allows you to control your apps on the phone while you're in the car. You don't have to press on this button, but you can. So as of now, it asks you to connect your phone via a USB channel. But it does this also automatically. So if we start from the startup screen and I'll jump into my car, no matter if I have an iPhone or an Android phone, that's totally the same in, with the in-car experience. And all I have to do is then connect the phone with a, a standard cable which comes with the phone and then connect it to the USB in the car, which has a pretty nice advantage because now this phone is charged. And as you can see, now the screen is locked and you cannot touch it anymore. You can slave safely secure it somewhere in the car. It's probably best case this place here. And as you can see on that screen, now you have access to the content of your phone, which is, for example, the calendar of the phone uh, with all the things you have inside here, which is, for example, the contacts from your phone, which are not downloaded, by the way. It's just uh, streamed here and you can uh, you access this directly from the phone. Or, for example, the music which is on the phone and which you then can play uh, from that list. The nice piece about this uh, direct con uh, connection is that whenever I uh, unplug the phone, um, everything is, 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 is goes with you and you, you don't have to disconnect uh, or um, sign out anything in, in the car. So it's with you wherever you go and if you jump into another car, let's say you have another Range Rover and you connect it, it has all your contacts, your calendar, your settings, everything with you. So it's not downloaded onto the system, it stays um, on the phone always? Correct, So, um, which is uh, pretty nice because then it's always, up, uh, it's always up, to day, uh, up to date and whenever there's a new app for you, um, this comes with the phone, um, which, which comes with the phone, uh, the moment you um, plug it into the car, it's here. Um, of course, there are the basic function functionalities like calendar, contacts and music, but there are also third-party apps. As you can see, three of them are here. And there's another set of apps which um, basically add value to your driving experience. For example, an, an event seeker app which tells you what kind of nice events are around you or um, other apps in uh, the system or in, on that phone which are made for being used in the car. Uh, mileage tracker which helps you to um, track your, 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 the, the ways you're going and, and, and to maybe um, put this together. What is the reason that is not completely mirrored directly? Mm -hmm. This is of course, um, would, yeah, so having the screen directly mirrored would you allow you to play around with things you should not play around in the car I mean, uh, while driving, namely being distracted too much, distracted too much and then uh, you don't have a chance to, uh, and this would be um, cause harm, I would say, it's not safe and secure. So. What we from Bosch side um, request from those app companies who work with us is to set up a car mode and um, it's basically best uh, shown in, in one of the examples. Um, as you've seen, I, I opened this um, Event Seeker app, which is now the startup screen of this app and it, it allows you to either discover things which are around this area or uh, look at some featured content. If I take the same phone, uh, this phone which is now connected and disconnected, I, you can see that this app is now on the, still on the phone and now in, this is how the app looks on the screen, uh, on, on the phone. And of course, this is a way of how you can interact with this app when you're on your couch at home, but nothing you could digest while you're driving. So, and this is like the basic rule for all the app companies we're working with and all the apps we, we, we approve here is that uh, they have a certain car mode which is um, designed for being used while driving. What about emails? 
emails um, is as of now not not available but as the um, as the solution is pretty um, dynamic and we add more and more apps every now and then um, whenever there, there's a good, good, good chance to get um, more apps which could be for example email readout or something like this as well to that platform yeah because when you're not reading uh, reading out the mails it also could be dangerous that's true to, that's to true look at it while driving and it. Um, we have some some possibilities to um, understand what the what what in what kind of situation the car is namely if it is driving or standing so for example for um, some news like this news news and board app which um, basically reads out news from different sources um, this one shows you as long as you stay shows you a little piece of, of the text which is there but in the moment you start to drive this text will disappear so you're not able to read this but uh, it will be read out then Okay. Does it also work now? Uh, it, would, it, would, it, it would work, yes. So let's find this one. Uh, we, did, we have not paired the, uh, the, um, the audio, but you can hear that. So in the first quarter compared to the previous and normally this would uh, happen via the speakers from the car as, uh, okay. once this is paired with the, with the Bluetooth. Another, maybe another a nice uh, feature of um, and having the navigation on the phone is that it um, always goes with you. So we have this sidekick navigation app here, uh, now starting. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty responsive. It's pretty working pretty fast and nice if I change it here. It's still on the phone. So whenever I park my car and have to, let's say, walk the last mile or something, I'll just disconnect it. And the moment I have the navigation here. So I can just walk that way. Uh, and whenever I go back to the car, I just uh, connect it again. And it goes back to the screen and then um, I can continue my, uh, continue my ride. Thank you.